Hey everybody, we're back. We didn't want to. Oh yeah, we have to, we're, we're not Cheetos and some Sam's Diet Soda because you know, like oh. it, I can't tell the difference anymore. So I'll get the cheaper one. Actually, Diet Coke does taste a little bit better, but I can't taste aspartame, so it's just fine. So we're we don't want to do our work, so instead I we're gonna have to clean my room. Yeah, so instead we're gonna go take some a bunch of other stuff apart. So we we picked this up at Goodwill a while ago, like a year ago. So this is like just a normal ass clock radio from back in the old days. I it took looks this like one it's apart and 80s. put it back together correctly. Look. Oh, good. It's I don't know if it works or not, but it doesn't matter. So this is like a light projector, and this oh, is oh look, all radio. the buttons still work. I took it all the way apart. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And this is the tuning. What's this? <gasps> Whoa, it moves. Yeah, yeah, that's the tuning dial, and that's okay, the cool. volume. So which one do you want to do first? The the weather one? This oh, look, one. it's got this TV sound, which doesn't work anymore because, like, this analog one has TV. interesting stuff in it. Analog TV broadcasts have Except stopped. Except now that way you're recording it, we can't actually see what we're taking apart. Okay, I've got to adjust the tripod. So we'll take this box apart because, like, it's square, well, and it's a Sony. It's not square. Well, it's a rectangle, and it's a Sony, so it should have, a, like, a decent design inside. Oh, so, it's an antenna. Yeah, an antenna. Oh. So, like I said, this is a, an old-ass AM, FM, TV, and weather. So, obviously, TV doesn't work because analog broadcasting There's is a stuff. There's a serial number on the back. Oh, yeah, it's probably, like, 52 bazillion. I don't know. And it has batteries. Where's can, the thing from Timu? Oh, yeah. You have to stop saying that. It sounds like it bad. So, it's got a oh, battery okay. pack. never mind. We C don't batteries. like Timu. Well, it's fine. That just keeps the batteries in. That's all. That's just a foam pad. That's amazing. Yeah, I can. So it's in really good shape, given that this thing is probably what, like, forty years old. When did they make this? Oh, Attention. look! It says somebody says someone's name is here. Hello, <laughs> D. D Vallard. 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 Wow! <laughs> See that that little engraver thing that you got for the anti theft? It didn't pay off. Let me tell you. <laughs> Because you never lost this. You gave it away to Goodwill or your parents did after you left or you died or something. I can't really tell. Um, we have an FCC ID, so we could actually look that up if we really cared. Um, four watt radio, ICF 34, six volts. FCC ID is AK8ICF 34, made in Malaysia. Yeah, and it's got the FCC rules, blah, 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 blah. So there's no year of manufacture on this, which is sort of a surprise, actually. Um, I'm I'm really thinking it's about the 80s because it kind of feels like maybe. the 80s. Like I said, I don't really want to look up the FCC ID, but maybe I'll do it when I'm on the border. If we're doing so so obviously this, this looks like it's pretty straight out. ahead because it's got screws. This looks like an AC AC power. The dial got battery power. It's normal screws. So this should be like pretty good because yeah, um, um, you need you the know. bigger screws yeah. that aren't in your tiny set of screwdriver thingies. Oh, oh no, I need a real screwdriver? Yeah. Oh, I don't have a real screwdriver set right here. It's over are you there. sure? The zeros are here. That's oh, well, zero. Nah. Um, Hold no, on. you let's, need let's, the two. Let's let the people at home see what we're looking at. The people at home. Uh, this one should work. There's like these little and tiny things just for young people. For young people. Because, you know, like, you know, I can't really see what the hell that thing says. I have to look really close. I'm going to poke myself in the eye if I get too close to that damn thing. Um, anyway, so you start taking the... Don't take that yet. You, I like you, the antenna. I want it for well, myself. Okay, so she's Except going to get the antenna because you can point at it. Fat. Here, just use this. She can use that as a pointer, like as a oh, yeah. laser pointer, except it's not a laser. Um, I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Uh, the good thing about the, the Japanese electronics, I think, is they're going to be pretty straightforward. So, Except I can't actually get to the screw. Well, maybe you have to do it at the end. Well, no, but that doesn't make sense because that thing would be in the way either way. See? Oh, yeah. Huh. How did they How get did, that in there? This is a mystery. How did they get that screw in there? Oh, I know why. It's This will pop off when you take something out because they uh, there's, there's something it's mounted okay, to so inside. I can't do that one first. These are the questions they're manufacturing. Like, I wonder how they got that in there. Oh, they got in there later. So the screws are pretty obvious. So it's good. They all yeah, have these. Except are... they need the fat screwdriver, I think. Embedded screw holes. Ugh. Wait, I don't like the camera this way because then I can't see. It goes here. I don't think I have any large screwdrivers you here. Just need... These are all like iPhone pentalobes and stuff. What's a pentalobe? Uh, five. Penta five. Oh. Five lobed screwdrivers. Which I fixed it. It says, oh my god, I'll be using proprietary screws. Dude. These things are like five cents on eBay. Who cares? Go get it. Go get a set. Oh, You're yeah. taking shit apart. Regular Get screen. tools. In fact, this dumb screwdriver set has like all kinds of weird screws that I've never seen before. 
Even if the triangular screw. Oh, I could take my DS apart support. and put it back together. Yeah. Um, except now that I've pirated the, you got the chip. The chip, I didn't even have to pirate any games it for it. Really yeah, good. because it has every single game already pirated onto it. Oh, awesome! How how great is that? Yeah, don't don't try this at home, kids. And well, I didn't even <laughs> have to do anything. I just bought it off of Amazon. Or you did, I think. Yeah, anyway, that's great. Yeah, because it's not like main where you have to go find the ROMs, which are really easy to find. Yeah. So now you can play every DS YouTube game videos made, videos right? on how to find them yourself. Oh, oopsies, that was already done. No? We could get a... Uh, I have the drill. I right couldn't here. find Sylvia. She... She's in the front. I told you. She's like napping or something. Oh, you could ask her. She's taking stuff apart. Hey, Sylvia, do you want to join our take-apart video? No, she's sleeping. If you had another screwdriver, this would be easy. Yeah, I have. I've got my little toolbox. The screwdrivers are one, two, and five screws. These are like fat screws. Uh, where the heck is my? Ta-da! Oh, there it is. Yeah, that was easy. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, that's oh, why is it not unscrewing? I got all these extra toolboxes for Christmas, and now I can't figure out where all my tools are because I split them up. And so I think this one is smaller electronic toolbox. Maybe the electric toolbox. Yeah. These ones aren't as magnetic. I love them a little bit. You can try this one. Here. Can you do that one? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just taking all those screws. I yeah, anything you find, exactly. I think this one's done. This one's not. We've got to turn it over and pit it or something. Ah, it there is. we go. Yay. Is that all of them? There might be one in the battery compartment. Traditionally, I took there's that one. one in the pit. Cool. So you should be able to pry this thing open now. Is there any more left? Oh, there's one here. Ah! Can you do anything in the bottom? No, because the, it's going to get clamshell. So, oh, look, it can pop open. This thing is this thing really done? Ah, so now you should just be able to lift it open or, oh, or pry it off or something like that. Is there any left? See, you can see it popping open. There. It should just come straight out like a, like a, like a, oh, there's a screw left somewhere. A clam shell. Just wait, a little bit of, oh, a Japanese company? Yeah, see now yeah. there's something stuck. So wait, let's take oh, this out. Cable. So yeah, when you generally when you pop stuff open, you, you kind of want to pop it out just as little as you can because usually there's stuff stuck to it. Can you like, see look, the camera? Like see, look, there's the antenna. See, and then there's also the power cord, which is really weird. Like how the heck did they get the? Oh, okay, let's get the. Power. Oh wait, I took this one apart too. You did? Maybe because I remember having to thread a cable through. Maybe you have to do that on the other one too. Okay, so I was like, how no, the heck did you get the power cord? No, I did. There? I don't know. Same. It's the same design. So they say, okay. And then there's oh, the antenna, there's so now you can take that antenna out. Look at that big speaker. Wow, they weren't they weren't cheap on this guy. That's like a three or four inch speaker. Sony. Four ohm three watt speaker. Oh, look. That just like pops off. Hello. Oh, look, I found another part of that goofy. Oh, I'll throw this power adapter away. Okay, so there, she's got oh, the antenna. Oh, and the thingy does pop off, kind of. There was a little piece of something that just fell. What was that? I don't know. Oh, just like plastic. Ta-da! There we go. Hey. Yay. Success. Now I can take the antenna from my... Oh, and it spins. That's so fun. Spin, yeah, spin. uh huh. So I don't even need to take it off the thingy. Yeah, and now you can poke somebody in the eye with that, or you can use it as a pointer, which point. is what they used to be. If you had a magnetic end, you could use that to pick up small. Oh, whoa, well, look, you can see everything they soldered by hand. Oh, yeah, so this is like, this is this is back in the 80s, so this is like super sized electronics you can actually understand, I think. Yay. So, look, there's an AC transformer, there's a transformer in here somewhere because see, the plug goes right in, so there's a power supply in there. Which is probably discharged by now. Oh. Oh, so look, she just popped it up. Cool. Oh, the spring. That's the battery compartment? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's 
budget? Yeah, you can just pry it up with a screwdriver too. It looks like it's good. Oh, there. See, there's a clip. See, look. Good. Oh, clip. And there's another. There should be one more somewhere, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Hi. There, that's up. It's up. And look, and the, the, the battery thing. compartment spring is actually attached to something too. Oopsies. This is interesting. Hello. That's the battery part. So that's the positive and negative part of the battery input, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And same for this. So you can you can just pop these off without it. Let's see. So lift it. Straight. Something's stuck. Oh, there's the coil thingy. Wow. There's something stuck on here somewhere that's got pull. It's like this. The it's the power cord. Hold on, wait. Don't pull too hard. Check to see. If there's a thing for the power cord, see? The power cord is, is sticking to something. There we go. So that's the strain relief. So that way, as you throw the battery, as you throw the damn thing across the room, theoretically, it won't rip anything out. So it was twisted around this as a that's sort of so a strain cool. relief. Look, you can actually see stuff that would make sense. That's actually a good idea. I'm sure, see, this is like, How do you get this out? Any, nobody does that without having somebody throwing or dropping this thing a lot. So the fact that that can was there is actually a great speaker? design. Yeah, so there's a, it'll just pop right out, usually. Nope, oh, nope. Yeah. Oops, I'll put it on camera. So I'm just trying to push it and figure out how to get this thing off. See, look, they clipped it in, but it's not really designed to pop out anymore. There's a there's a thing here. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe I can get this out. Here. So if you look, there's like a pushing, there's a clip here that pushes out. So maybe I can pry it off of there. Pop that out, push it, and then pop it. Nope. Gah! I need a flathead. I could just there. like pull the wire. Yeah, you could do that too. You could just cut them because we're not gonna. Do you want it to keep operating or not? I haven't turned this on ever. Wait, I need to. Been... Where's my spudger? It's kind of icky. I'll spudger this damn thing out of there. What's this thing again with the coils? Oh, that's a transformer. So that's gonna convert it from one to AC to whatever DC AC? it's got. Six, what's the battery compartment say? Six volts or nine volts? It's four C batteries, three, six. So let's pry this speaker out, which I can't because it's been glued in as well, it looks like. Ah, oh, those Japanese, such good craftsmen. So, oh, oh that wow. was unexpected. That's oh, that's fun. the, see somewhere, how does that, Hello? this doesn't make sense. What is this attached to? Because, oh, that's why this is attaches to yeah, here. This... So this is technically, I guess it's a real stack, but it's changing yeah. the thing in the antenna and stuff like that. This so that's the tuner. Spins yeah, that's onto this thingy with the mm -hmm. gears. The tuner moves this and then it'll change the resistance of things oh, in the crystal or something like that. Oh, and this is the thingy that slides that's back the, and forth. That's the needle that shows you what frequency it's set at. Mm -hmm. Which also connects onto a different yeah. set of gears. I right can't take here. the damn speaker out. So I'm going to have to. You can just pull the wires. Yeah, but then it'll not work anymore. Do you want it to work? You don't care. The lube is so gross. Oh, well, let's like just orange. let's just cut it. That way we can wire it back together if we need to. The lube is orange. Where the heck did my toolbox? Icky. Do you yeah, have snips? Yeah, it's kind of gross. Oh, I could use chopsticks with my left hand, kind of. So yeah. theoretically, if we cut this, we can still wire it back together. Wait, which is, is it? Red and white? Can we tell? The red. the red one is here. <laughs> okay, there. Yeah. So now we've liberated this from its confines. So this is all. So this is the front. Again, this is the, the, the dial. Where did that thing go? This thing? So this dial that goes here. Just, I don't this like is, this camera angle. Yeah, I know. I mean, it would be in the front. The front. So anyway, let's. So this moves it back and forth across the front so you can see, you know, where what frequency you're tuned to. This is the thing. And then this wheel and this dial actually, actually are matched to this to gear, gear so that that's actually interesting that see somebody had to calibrate all that. Oh, guess, it's sure the that. on and off switch. Oh yeah, okay. I like the switches cuz you can actually like And look, there's everything on the back. That's going to cuz the shielding that's probably an antenna. This? Yeah. Oh, it's soldered on. No, it's not. It is. Oh, you can just pry it off. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it is soldered on. Oh, this is literally the antenna, probably. This is actually the antenna, probably, most likely. See, because they don't have another antenna in here, so this has got to be it. Oh. What's, where is this? 
No, it's not. Actually, it was just a shielding. How about that? TVLRF. Oh, look. So. Oh, the LED. Hold on. Yeah, look at that big ass LED. That's from the old days. Let's cut this shielding off because we don't need it. It's not oh, look, anymore. Oh, look. There's the red and red and. Yeah, those are the white. the speakers outputs. I don't know what this thing here is. That's a. Uh, Let's look at the back. Oh, I think that was the power. Oh, the yeah, that's extra power AC? Thing. Yeah, maybe. Mm, no, no, there's no extra power thing. What is it? Hold on, Ew. I'll look at the thing. That's a cap that's popped. Oh, those are headphones. That's a headphone oh. jack. Oh. It's soldered onto. So those should be connected to the speaker at some point somewhere. Like, you know, if you Here trace those far back. the tuning thing. The those are like. knobs for probably volume. Oh, there's a switch here. I wonder what that's for. I, I wonder know. if that's for the, it's probably for the difference between the, the AM, FM, weather, TV, because it's going to be a four-way switch. It's three or four, yeah. See? Look at the LED, no. it just bends. Let's see, one, two, three. So that's a four switch. So that selects so which frequency band it's listening for. Um, so that's a ground. This just looks like a ground. What's this thing? Mm, I don't know. Those are capacitors. This, I don't know what the hell that is. It'll say, it usually it'll say on the thing, L8. That doesn't really help. Maybe it's a radio thing. The LED. The LED still works, I think. Yeah, of course. This is a transformer, so this will drop it from, um, oh, you know, 120 AC on. to... Uh, can I just take it? Yeah, you can just, you can just pull that off. You could desolder it, too. These are, I can't remember, these might be crystals or something like that, because I've seen these before. You turn them to tune, but I really literally have no idea what they are. What are you doing? You're clipping the solder off the back? That's that not gonna work. <laughs> anyway, this is, if you look, this chip is old, old, old. So, mm -hmm. but here, can I see what the label says? Let's take a look and see for the viewers at home, which I can't read this at all. Sony. Sony. CXA1019P. Wow. So let's take oh, a look. resistor. Let's take a look at, oh, I don't have my iPad here, so I don't know what the hell that is, but. As you can see, it's basically all analog. Oh, Ew. Should just pop that bad boy off. Yeah, that's grease. It's amazing. It's still oh, hot greasy. glue. Yep. Mm. There's all a bunch of tuning coils and stuff. That's that's probably what these are. Mm. These might be crystals or resonators or something. I, I used to know. know all these components, man. Yeah, I know. The windings are for antennas, I think. Resistor, capacitor. Caps are like batteries, and you capacitor know. Capacitor again. No, this, I don't know what those, are those capacitors at all times? Oh, I used ones? to know what those are, I don't remember. I watched a YouTube video on it. Anyway, and this is the tuning pot. So I guess what happens is one of these things is switching, when it's switched to frequency, this is probably some kind of multiplier or something. And it says, okay, you know, so like that'll the work for all, all four of them. Okay. Neat. And this? This is cool. I think this is actually the antenna because it's big. I can't pry it off. Yeah. Okay. okay, cool. Thank you, Sony. That was so much easier to take apart. Yeah, see, because they were building it, they, they weren't as good as assembly back then. So anyway, that's our little radio, Chunky. so we'll see. Little pieces. So that's going into the trash, trash. too, unfortunately. You could buy Sony, Bye -bye. all your work, but it's really interesting. So we'll, we're going to take apart this GE and see the difference between the GE electronics and Sony electronics of the same era.